The Tarot Garden is situated near the town of Capalbio. It was built on a slope of about two hectares. The Tarot Garden is a creation of the French-American artist Niki de saint -Fal. She began the work in the late 1970s and her projects end only with her death that is, in 2002. The smaller sculptures were made in her studio in Paris by fusing polyester. The monumental sculptures were built according to the following procedure. First, the artist created a small clay model. Then the full sculpture was built in the garden itself by craftsmen, most of whom lived in the area. These craftsmen first formed a structure of knotted steel rods, which were then poured over with a cement and finally filled with mosaic stones. Obviously, the style of the sculptures is influenced by the Parc Guel in Barcelona. This becomes especially evident through the so-called Trencadis technique, which consists in decorating the sculptures with fragments of ceramic tiles or broken glass. Also, the curved line which dominates the work of Niki de saint -Fal is reminiscent of the Parc Guel. In the Tarot Garden, however, there are also similarities with the sculptures from Bomarzo, such as the Orcus and the High Priestess. Niki de saint -Fal was supported by other artists in the realization of the Tarot Garden especially her husband, Jean Tanglet, a famous Swiss sculptor, sustained her in the creations. He built the many kinetic works in metal which are located in the garden. Ricard Domenon was the personal assistant to Niki de saint -Fal. When he died of AIDS, she created the sculpture of a cat for remembering him. It also must be mentioned Mario Botta, who designed the entrance to the garden. It is a thick wall which separates the outside world from the fairy tale world within the Tarot Garden. After having passed at the entrance to the Tarot Garden, you have to climb up an unpaved road and then you will reach a forecourt. From here the tour is free in the sense that there are no indications about the direction to choose. The visitor should be guided only by his instinct. Occasionally Various thoughts and reflections are written on the paving stones for better understanding the sculptures. In some places there are benches to rest and to reflect on the works. The garden is based on an esoteric theme because each sculpture corresponds to one of the tarot cards exactly to one of the major arcana, which are the 22 trump cards in the tarot card game. To better understand each sculpture, we recommend the additional video by Alzavola, Esoteric Guide through the Tarot Garden. Nevertheless, now we introduce each object in a brief way. At the beginning of the tour, you come to a forecourt where there is a work that unites three sculptures. The Wheel of Fortune in the pond, 
the high priestess, represented by a face with a big mouth, and the magician, represented by one hand that rises above a silver face. The huge sculpture on the right is the sun, and on the left, hidden among the trees, there is the strength, represented by a dragon tamed by a young girl. If you climb up the stairs on the left, you come to a small temple, or rather igloo, which symbolizes temperance. Behind, a bit out of the way, there is the moon sculpture. The great sphinx, in whose interior a real apartment was furnished and in which the artist actually has lived for a while, symbolizes the tarot card of the empress. In addition, there is the sculpture of the chariot, the mosaic of the judgment. And there is also a small model of the sculpture of the star. This star sculpture is erected in a monumental size higher up the hillside. You can also climb the roof terrace of the Empress for enjoying the panorama. Opposite in the form of a castle, there is the sculpture of the Emperor, with the Tower of Babel on its top. Following the path, you will arrive at the Justice sculpture, with the injustice within. This kinetic machine was created by Jean Tanglet. Nearby, there is the Lover's sculpture, represented by Adam and Eve having a picnic. Behind, there is the Oracle, the Prophet, and the Hermit. The Tree of Life, with snakes instead of branches, harbors inside the hanged man. It follows the sculpture of death and on the edge, hidden between the bushes, there is the fool. After that, you will reach the devil sculpture and at the end you recognize the sculpture of the world. For better organizing a visit to the Tarot Garden, here we give the opening hours. During the summer months, that is from April 1st to October 15th, the Tarot Garden will be open every day from 2.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. The entrance fee is 12 euros and is reduced to 7 euros for students and over 60 year olds. For children under 7 years and for disabled people, admission is free. In the winter month, that is from November to March, the Tarot Garden is closed. However, it opens on the first Saturday of the month from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And on this occasion, admission is free for everyone. If the first Saturday of the month falls on a bank holiday, the opening will be postponed to the following Saturday.